What's up guys, my name is Brennan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 series. We are at the park. We're hitting a damn good workout and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. To chest and shoulders 30 for 30 body weight training only we're at the park like I said and I'm so excited because every single morning we come back with a new video at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and you know what that means if we don't post it it's just a rest and recovery day don't cheat yourself trust the process now with this series we, we've been getting a lot of great workouts in there's been a lot of feedback in the comment section I've been getting text messages off the wazoo and I'm just excited so before we jump in I want to give you a few tips you could be following for the workouts and uh, let's get started all right quick tip number one with all pushing movements, I suggest squeezing your glutes and abs so that you can stabilize a lot more. Number two, one of the key components to building muscle with body weight training only is decreasing your leverage in movements. Resistance increases when leverage decreases. Remember that. Number three, I just took the low stim pre workout from Create You. <laughs> I'm geeking out. Jeez, it's coming soon. Number four, there is no magic number of days that you should see the results you want. It's a process that takes time. Patience is key. Number five, if you feel any weird tension on your joints during specific movements, I suggest slowing down the contractions or choosing a different exercise. And last, number six, eat fruit. A lot of people talk about the sugar content in apples, mangoes, strawberries, blueberries. It's not good for you, this and that, but hello, it's fruit. I suggest doing your own research before listening to other people's opinions. All right, so we have around the world assisted handstand pushups. I've never shown this movement anywhere in any of my workouts or anything, and I'm excited to show you today. We're gonna be supersetting that with some pop-off pushups. But right here, you're gonna be in an assisted handstand push-up as so, all right? Now remember, when you do an assisted handstand push-up, your hands are gonna be just outside the shoulder width apart, you're gonna tuck in your chin, and you're gonna go to the top of your head. Here, all right? And that's an assisted handstand push-up. So when we say around the world, you're just doing one. So it's gonna be all the way around to the same position where you are here, and then all the way back. I'm gonna show you right now. So here, you're gonna be a little bit wider because as you turn and you go to the next movement, you're gonna be going to that right side, that lead hand, okay? So you're actually gonna start in the diamond position here, okay? And all you're gonna do is one hand really far apart, okay? It's gonna turn all of your hips and everything, and then you're gonna come down to that right side. Then you're gonna come back here and all the way around, really wide with those hands, coming down to the right side and back up here, all the way around, down to that right side. The most important part is that you are going to the top of your head through the movement. As I said, around the world is just one rep, all the way around, then redoing it all the way around back, then supersetting it with these push-up pop-offs. Now with these push-up push pop-offs, sorry, a tongue twister, twister. <laughs> so your hands are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart, making sure you're completely straight. You can notice that I'm squeezing my glutes, as I said in the quick tips, keeping that chin tucked here. Now, all you're gonna do is come down, pop off. Pause, pop off, pop off, okay? If you keep that pop off proper and you're, the technique is controlled throughout, you're not gonna have any problems with any injuries or anything like that because everything's stabilized. So that is your first superset. All right, we have lateral to front isometric raises. Now, I say isometric because it's the movement, it's the process that we're really focusing on here, okay? So you can go start at front or you can start at lateral. I'm gonna start at lateral for this one, okay? Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna find a fence, find something that you can really stabilize on. It could even be a table if you would like, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is basically line yourself up with it right here, okay? You're gonna step one, I don't know, about a foot away, okay? And you're going to press up against the wall wall you can use, you can use a counter. I usually use a counter and it's a little bit higher, okay? So you're here, right? Now as you go and you're pushing up against the wall, keeping everything tucked, everything completely straight, you're going to turn your body and then you're gonna stabilize here. You're gonna notice that not only your shoulder but also your chest is really working like crazy. Up against the walls, but you can, they coming right back. It's slow and controlled, okay? Then we're gonna be going straight down to the floor flies. Now with these, you're going to be on your knees, okay? This is a controlled, very, very slow and controlled movement that I want you to really focus on, all right? So your hands are going to be almost, well, your entire shoulder is going to be externally rotated, so your hands are going to be pointed out, okay? Now, when you come down, your hands will actually be about 
uh, 12 inches away from your head. So you'll notice that they're, they're pretty far away from each other, okay? Now, you're gonna come down and almost lean forward slightly so you feel a little bit more tension on that upper pec and that anterior delt. And you're come down, keeping that chin tucked, pushing away slightly, allowing your elbows to naturally go in the movement that they would go into. They're not gonna go here, right? It's gonna be a natural movement here here into this position remember you're going to circle around that upper back a little bit okay keeping everything tucked and then squeeze all the way through and squeeze to the top now if you don't feel it too much in your chest you can come a little bit closer and really find that movement but always make sure that your elbows are really pointed outwards as so so you're coming down here pausing rounding that back and squeezing all the way through Ugh as if you're just trying to squeeze everything together, that is your superset. All right, so we have assisted handstand push-ups, but the lean is gonna be a little bit less, so we're not going to the top of our head. Now, with bodybuilding, it's very, very important to think about like all the different movements, and when you're actually in the gym, you just change your hand positioning, you change leverages, there's a lot of little adjustments where you can uh, contract the muscle that you want a little bit more, right? So, the same thing goes with body weight training, especially if you're trying to build your body, okay? So, hands, handstand push-up or assisted handstand push-up regularly is our hands are just outside of shoulder width apart we're piking at our hips as so right and we're going to the top of our head so we tuck in our chin we come to the top of our head our elbows aren't flaring out they're not too close in okay so it's here and we're coming right back up and really stabilizing, and squeezing at the top now the only adjustment that you're gonna make is when you're coming down you're usually here right now I want you to lean forward here okay it's gonna put a little bit more pressure on your chest and those anterior delts. So you're gonna be here. So you're almost going to your nose outside about three inches of your hands, okay? Boom, and coming right back up. Now notice, I'm still pushing all the way away and not straight up. I'm going leaning forward, leaning back. This is the path of the movement, and that is your set. All right, here we go, we're gonna be doing two to five three-point push-ups. Now, it's an extremely, extremely difficult movement. Let me show you what one rep looks like. So you're essentially gonna be here, then here, then back up here, then back to the middle, and then back. That is one rep on one side. You have to do two to five each side. So if you wanna use your knees instead, that's completely fine. Just make sure you're squeezing your abs and stabilizing the entire time, okay? Now, you wanna have a little bit wider of a stance for your hands with this push-up position because you are gonna be coming back and you don't wanna be turning your body too much, okay? So really, essentially, what you want is squeeze everything, okay? And just come back slightly here. You're not shifting too much. You're not going as so. It's not gonna be more anterior delt. We don't want that. We're gonna be here and we're just gonna come down in a push-up. Now notice how this arm isn't completely internally rotated, going in as much as possible. And notice how it's not at my lat, right? And then this one is just stabilizing in the same position that it generally is. So we're gonna be here, just moving back, then coming down. Then we're gonna pop up and come here. Then we're gonna pop up and come here. Now I want you to watch my feet really quick. So as I'm coming forward and forward, you'll see my feet shifting slightly, okay? So I'm gonna be here, come down, slightly, shift, slightly, shift, slightly, shift, slightly, shift. That is one. It is brutal. And you have to do it on each side. <laughs> Enjoy. Ah, baby. Let's finish off strong, baby. So we're gonna do some pulsators push-ups, okay? These pulsators are brutal. It's as many reps as possible, two sets. So if you're not feeling it in your chest, and your shoulders, and even your triceps, you just ain't doing it right. So what we're gonna be doing is just outside of shoulder width apart here, okay? You can go on your knees if you would like to. I don't suggest it though. The majority of people, even beginners, can do the pulsators on their feet right here without their knees, okay? So when you're coming down, I wanna make sure that you are in a really, really stable position so that your chin is back and it's not like leaping forward. You don't wanna strain your neck or anything like that, okay? So you're gonna come down here and it's gonna be fast, up and down, and just keep going, and going, and going, until essentially you wanna fall on your face. <laughs> now, if you start feeling any pain or anything like that, just stop. You don't want to risk injury just to get a, a couple more seconds or a couple more reps, just relax. Um, and yeah, that is your exercise. All right, there you have it. Got my little Yeti right here. Gallon to a gallon and a half every single day. The small stuff, 
really brings you the results that you want. So if you wanna lose fat, build muscle, trust the process, drink the right water, eat the right foods, your macronutrients. I, I do suggest counting your carbs, fats, and proteins. Mine right now, calorie-wise, are 4,800 calories. I've been doing that for 60 days. I'm in the bulking phase, and I wanna build as much mus muscle as possible. So my goals, it takes me to be uncomfortable with whatever I'm doing in my lifestyle to get there, but also the small stuff, the sleep is so important, the stretching, the meditation, getting your mental right with your gut and everything else, it all helps you at the end of the day. So hopefully you're enjoying this series, 30 for 30. Remember, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, every single morning, if it's not posted the video, it is a rest of recovery day. And that's pretty much it. You can find all the links in the description for any Crit You nutrition products. We have Mood, which is a stress product coming out. I'm gonna be taking that every single day. We have our pre-workouts that are coming out. I literally take the low stim every single day. And then if I want to PR, I take the high stim. I'm freaking hyped. I don't know about you guys, but when things are going bad around me, I find a place of, of, of gratitude and blessing and, and happiness and, and excitement for what's to come because I know it's bright. Just know it's the same for you. There's a lot of great, great, incredible things coming to your life as well. Stay positive, stay consistent, stay dedicated to your craft, whatever that is, and keep on grinding. 30 for 30, I'm Brennan, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>